Hey everybody, welcome back to my Anime Red channel. Today we're going to be watching Combatants Will Be Dispatched Episode 3. Last episode we had Agent 6 recruit two new members, Grim and Rose, and then they went on a mission to basically stop the enemy from obtaining, I'm guessing, cargo. And during this mission they were confronted by two high-grade demons. One of which seemed to have kind of taken a liking to Agent 6. And then the other one came in and just smashed Grimm's head in. And for a moment, I was like, what's going on? And then they let on that, you know, uh, Grimm's race is basically immortal. As long as she's put on this altar type thing, she'll resurrect every time. So she's immortal as long as somebody can put her put her on this thing not sure what happens if they don't but after that happened agent six got really you know serious for a moment and he was about to just demolish i'm assuming anyways this demon before it flew off so the next time we see it i'm pretty sure that agent six is going to hold a grudge against it even though Grimm's still alive we also learned a little bit about Grimm and her ability in the episode She's able to cast curses, and the more powerful the curse, the stronger the knockback it might have on her. So she sets forth a really powerful curse, and it doesn't take hold. It will come back onto her, which is why she's in the wheelchair, because she can't wear shoes. So she doesn't, I guess, want to walk, because her feet might get hurt. I really thought that she was just crippled, which would have made for an incredible character. But anyways, it's, she's still a unique character. I love the design. And then we have Rose, who basically is able to take on whatever she eats. So she's been eating the demons. So she's able to get like the horns, the wings, probably any other abilities they have. We haven't seen uh, what else can happen with her, though. Like, Let's say she eats a wheel of cheese. Is she just going to become cheese? Not too sure about all that. So she probably has, her ability probably has its comical downsides to it too that we just have yet to see, but the show will more than likely let us know rather soon. Other than that, not not too much happened. So let's get on to this next episode and see where it brings us people and I'll see you there. All right, everybody, here we go. Something Agent 6 did or some other goal to have in mind? Yeah. This guy just doesn't care. Not much of a strategist if Agent 6 was able to outdo you on one mission. Yeah, that's just basic military strategy. How could these idiots not know this? <laughs> Agent 6 coming in hot. All up in this guy's face. Is he really bowing before him? Wow, that quickly you turned around. So they'll get some kind of mark. That's just a bruise. There's literally no way that's whatever mark they're looking for. No clue what that is. Kills instantly. So... Oh, the nanotechnology. So it's keeping him alive. Alright, so are we going to get to see the prince now? You know, Alice is chasing her with bugs and she's running. She's trying to get her to eat the cricket. Maybe she'll become a cricket. She'll be able to hop really far. That's exactly it. Become almost invincible. Well, no, lots of people eat bugs. No. I hear they're actually nutritious. This dude is holding her so she's made to eat the bug. I'll see my pregnant baby. So she'll be able to hop really far, have strong legs, fly. Probably have really thick, like, almost armor type skin. I don't, I don't think it works like that. Anyway, so... Why does she look like a demon even there? Like, 
Shouldn't she just look like a person? Well, this is pretty tragic. So have they shared anything yet? How long has she been working with them? Oh, so they're going to recruit, recruit her. One of us. One of us. I wonder if they're going to do the same with uh, Grimm. Like, you're no longer a part of this planet. You're part of our planet. Getting married to Agent 6, huh? Is she dreaming about that? What are you talking about? Grim is in love with you. And I think that demon girl is in love with him too. How long have they been here by now? What well, she kind of let on? Oh wow. <laughs> this, this is all this guy thinks about? Really? <laughs> no cares given at all. It's not the real thing. Snow is embarrassed. So her brother got beat? The guy who's been chosen, right? You were the chosen one! I wonder if he put that mark on himself. So let me get this straight. The guy who's supposed to be deemed worthy of defeating the demon lord and his army got beat. But we're going to listen to what he says. Gotcha. Exactly. Now look at this. The strategy guys. Unable to come up with a plan. So he's pinning it all on Agent 6. He's shocking. The dude looks like scum. Smoke out everything. Everything will have to evacuate. Do what you got to do to win a war. All about that honor, right? So they're all gonna about to be beaten, and they're gonna have to rely on Agent Six. Battle, y'all are gonna lose. Yeah, we're gonna beat them, but my way. She'll be back. Right? <laughs> She'll come back. After she figures out that this is an unwinnable battle. There's way too many of the enemy, right? Are you kidding? Like it's some kind of TV show. Some kind of drama that they're watching. <laughs> I guess that's why they've been watching. Huh? They're still going with their plan, right? The one that will actually work. Oh, okay. So a different plan. They're going to climb up the side of the tower. I don't think the enemy is getting tired. I think they laid a trap for them and they're just too naive to figure it out. Yeah, they've got the high ground. I'm surprised Agent 6 didn't want to go last. He look up everybody's skirt. Exactly. Mutant Mistress Thong Thong. Her arms are tired as crap. You suck it up and go. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. He is definitely strong. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> You're giving me strength. <laughs> as true as that might be. It's still probably better for her to hold on tighter. If the Chosen One is as strong as they say he's supposed to be, how is it that these two beat him? <laughs> Sneak attack. Going down? Surprised he didn't fall even farther. Yo, Alice is like merciless 
and her logic. <laughs> Ethically, maybe not. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna live, so let's get it done. They're just chunking rocks at this dude the whole time. I mean, he was down there holding on, so he would have seen all this, right? How does that work, though? The goat dude is obviously a mage, so why wouldn't he need to cast some spells, try to fight back, kill Agent Six, and just... I don't know, is he afraid that Agent Six might kill the dude before he got to him? Is that a share of the money? For a single year? <laughs> Screw our original world. I'm done with it. We're here. We're going to live the good life. So are they um, able to use the money from this world to buy more stuff? I mean, if that money is able to give them a year's worth of luxury, could they just use it to buy better equipment and better gear? Hey, everybody. So, a bit about the episode. We really just got a mission that Agent 6 and the group went on to climb this tower, to retrieve this artifact that the Chosen One, um, the Princess's brother, was supposed to try to get, but was in unable to get so our team went in and got it by using tactics that this kingdom would regard as underhanded they they pride themselves on doing battle in an honorable fashion which is not really that smart in war it's just whatever you can do to win and that's what agent six and alice understand so they go about doing what they have to do to win they climb the tower, they get the artifact, they're handing a whole bunch of money, and Agent Six basically states that he just wants to stay here, screw Earth, we're good here, he's probably made a hundred times over what he would have made in a year on Earth, so that's really all we got. Uh, we didn't see anybody else do anything, Grim didn't do anything. Uh, Rose didn't do anything. We got a little bit of a backstory to Rose. She's basically like some type of experiment that was made. She doesn't know where she comes from really. All she knows is about the guy who tried to raise her. Uh, but they, she said they found her. So I'm really not sure if this is the guy who made her. Or if this is the guy who found her after she was made. Uh, and then they mentioned like some kind of stone that's able to grant any kind of miracle. So this stone is possibly either inside of her or something out there in this world that has yet to be found again. That this guy had at some point. So maybe that will come into play sometime later in the show. And then we just got some gratuitous moments in the show. You know, that's what Agent 6 was wanting. In the end, he sort of got. But I'm with... Uh, grim like I'm like if this guy wanted to gratuitous panty shots and things of that nature I don't know why he wasn't below them instead of leading them but that's beside the point uh, let me know what y'all thought of the episode though hopefully in the future episodes we get uh, more story building because it seems to be moving a little slow but that might just be me and I will see y'all next time Da 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 da